Hi, uh, right, my mother donated some Lidl ice cream containers that they'd had some posh ice cream from and I had this idea. I drew a line all the way around at the same depth to give continuity to each side. Different designs for each side, but that sort of keys them all in. Drew it out in pencil first. You're better off just doing one side at once and then went in with a sharpie, fine point sharpie. If you make a mistake with a sharpie, if you get a tissue and um, hand sanitizer and you can remove it really easily. So don't worry about making any mistakes, but don't paint over any lines because you will see through it when the light shines. So I'm painting um, Macintosh Rose, this sort of design glass, you know, stained glass, art glass. And I'm purposely making it very streaky. I'm putting down more or less a full coat of whatever colour I sort of want that area to be. And then streaking a darker or a lighter through it, like what art glass looks like. Um, on the background and these little panels that I'm doing here, I'm keeping all my brush strokes left to right. Um, on all the background as well, especially left to right. Um, then when I paint inside, I paint up to down. Um, so it sort of cancels out the messiness, if you will. <coughs> Excuse me, just getting over flu. Um, so, again, I've got two colours of this teal and I'm streaking bits through it will look pretty nasty until you put the black around it you, there's a screenshot that you'll see in a minute um, just making sure I've got a good sort of solid coat of colour on there and here I tried putting a drop shadow in to make the lead artificial lead sort of look like it's sticking out a bit but it didn't work on the inside uh, sorry, on the undercoat, it needed to be on the outer bit, so I ignore that and put it on after you've put the white straw cream, whatever colour you're using. <coughs> sorry, um, as I say, keeping all my brush, brush strokes, the final brush strokes, left to right on the outer, and also, before you move on to the next bit, make sure you give it a good solid coat of Mod Podge um, to seal it, or else you'll scratch it off your fingernails. Here, I'm just showing you a close-up, because if you get to this stage and it looks pretty dismal, well, yeah, it does look pretty dismal, um, until you put the black on and then it just it looks lovely, so don't worry about it. But before you put this black on, do give it a coat of Mod Podge or whatever sealer you're using because you've got two brush stroke ends butting up against each other but not quite touching. When you go over with your um, Posca pen, it can kick bits off and get stuck and um, splatter. The pen ink can splatter. So if you put um, a coating on, it makes it smoother for when you're doing the fake leading. It, it just looks a lot better. Here I'm putting in the little drop shadow around the leading. It just makes it a bit more convincing that it's sticking out, doesn't it, Mick? It looks a lot better with that little drop shadow in. As you can see there, it doesn't have to be anything perfect. It just does look a lot better. So I'm mod podging it inside and out after putting the white on the inside cream um here's <clears throat> two glass nuggets of different sizes that i decided to include because a lot of these tiffany's type lamps have them on and i colored them in with a bit of india ink um, i'm sure you can do it with sharpies if not india ink sorry alcohol ink i'm sure there i was getting rid of a bit of the what's sharpie sharpie marker that i'd messed up a bit um yeah the, the glass nuggets if you don't have alcohol ink i'm sure you could use sharper just on the back and it'd look equally as nice 
um, again painting it all keeping all my brush strokes after I've got all the paint on left to right and then inside again up and down coat it all with Mod Podge before you go on to the next panel or else you will scratch it off or I don't think I said uh, very very lightly sand these down before you paint them or else the paint will come off pretty darn easy um, I don't think I painted no I didn't I didn't paint inside where these glass nuggets go to give them a bit of extra light coming through I just left them clear uh, yeah I've said where the tubs come from at the beginning didn't I but I'm, I'm sure there are other tubs out there you know that you could use oh, I think here I forgot to put the drop shadow on before I put the mod podge on that's why we're doing that um there's two other so far I've got two other designs of this type of flickering tea light lanterns to show you I uh, thought we'd split them up so it weren't too confusing uh, stuck that on with Mod Podge and proper let it stay uh, it probably looks like a carry on or is that the only two sides I showed me doing because it was just getting repetitive I think I think that's the only two sides I do on this video isn't it yeah thank you uh, yeah you could see there that continuous line going all the way around right here I got some book corners because I wanted to finish the lid off a little bit differently and I got some book corners and the after opening them to the squareness of the top because they were a bit squished in to start off with um, I prized I kept the bottoms flat and prized the top leaf would you say um, up to match the pitch of the lid um, if you're making one you'll realize what I say if you've got these you'll realize how I've done it you just sort of open it out a little bit not on the corner but on the wings um, just giving everything real good coat of Mod Podge let it uh, I'd let it dry overnight before putting the lid on and leaving the lid on and maybe even um, running a candle around it or something or a bit of um, furniture wax so the lid doesn't stick you know what Mod Podge is like for sticking to itself it's a bit bad for that but here it's got one of those uh, flickering tea light battery battery operated flickering lights in and they look really pretty don't they mate they look really sweet they do they look sweet so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you come and have a look at the other ones that i've done um don't know when the video will get sorted with them but they're equally as pretty i think i hope you're all well and that you can find tubs to do this week if it's something that interests you and I hope you're all arting and having a good creative year so far have I said happy new year well happy new year because this will be first one out I think or is that other one first one out no I'll put this one out first because I said happy new year yeah I'll put this one out first yeah so please if you've got somewhere to share it it would be much appreciated you know how grateful i am for you folks doing that for me the ones who do i'm really thankful uh give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in comments thanks for watching take care bye bye